All right, guys. This is going to be a top to bottom of the BOV. This will be the last video I'm going to do on it for now, anyway. I've done so many videos on the progress of this thing that I'm not going to go through everything in detail again, but I'll do just a quick run through for those of you who are new to the channel and don't feel like going way back in my videos to watch them. Quick rundown this is a 2004 F 150 four wheel drive, 5.4 V8. I keep, I got some basic BF Goodrich all terrain tires on it. A little bit bigger than it comes through for this size. That's about all I do. I'm not crazy where I am in New York right now. A little more gray man type of deal, but I'm not going to have that discussion. Got the bull bar. These are KC off road lights. They're uh, 130 watts. Of, I think they're 130 watts a piece, long range lights. I do have plans. The only other lighting I'm probably going to put on here is I may do an LED light bar across here for a little more wider beam of light as well but for the most part I don't believe in making my vehicle look like a Christmas tree coming down the road I like to be inconspicuous I always say you got to build a BOV for what you need it for the terrain that you're in the terrain you're going to be going through and the terrain that you'll be going to so I'll take a quick look at the inside I'll make it as quick I got these Smalley seat covers say what you want make fun of me they're not Smitty built well I'm sorry guys I'm not a child of wealth I bought what I could afford I got these at Walmart Keep a machete right here. The back here, you guys know what this is for. This has got rubber gloves and it's got some N95s just in case. Fact Max tool for, for quick breaching if I need it in here. Here I got light sticks, emergency blankets, ponchos. All right, underneath here there's a compartment that I built. The seat folds up that holds some extra emergency tools. Right here I built this little thing here, holds my mag light foul rod. This is a uh, what I call my little boo-boo kit type first aid kit for inside the truck so I could take care of things that I need to inside the truck. All right. And here I keep extra cordage, bungee cords, rope, thing carabiners, things I need to tie things down. CB radio is right there, so you guys know. You gotta have a CB radio. Like I said, I'm keeping this quick. If you guys want to more detail about the other stuff in here, you know, inside the cab, you guys can look back at some of my older videos. This side here, I keep an extra knife. This is just an El Cheapo knife. This is my wife's side of the vehicle, so it's just in case she needs to grab it and handle business last minute. Uh, okay, in the back here, keep an S-Wing uh, camp axe. Keep it razor sharp. Hobo tool, this is actually a fishing kit, light stick, this is a whole water purification system I have in here, extra lighter, lighter fluid, I keep one of the Johnny warmers, you guys seen a video on that, I keep that in here, fire starters, knife sharpener, that stays in this side here. And here I keep hand warmers, and I keep some extra snacks like beef jerky and some Jim's extra batteries, emergency food ration bars, my emergency trauma kits. I'm not going to get too big into this right now, but you guys know what's in here. Sea locks, um, Israeli bandage, extra gauze, all that good stuff. Alright, again, if you want to know more about the interior stuff, I did videos of it in detail. You have to look back at some of my older videos. Also keep a road atlas. Everybody should have one. Up to, up to date and everybody should learn how to read one. Unfortunately, it's becoming a lost art these days, people knowing how to read a map. Oh, and like I said many times, I got the camel steering wheel cover because in case I got to take my steering wheel off and hide in the woods of bad guys, they can't find it. Now, I got, I had this new gear cap. I had this put on not that long ago. Guys, sorry guys, no one needs to see my plate, but I got my tow away hook. To the back. This is my bug out bag, one of the many bug out bags. Um, this is the one that stays in the vehicle in case we have to leave my vehicle, which hopefully I don't. Hopefully I don't even have to bug out. I got another knife stash there. This is the latest edition that I just recently put in. This is a uh, 1100 watt power inverter. Power is about everything I need. It's about as big as I wanted to go. It's about all I need. It's a nice one you want to get. If you're going to get an inverter, guys, don't buy a cheap piece of garbage. Try to get yourself a decent one. You don't have to get the most expensive, but get the decent. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy into all this. Don't feel like it. 
This side here, grab gloves, I keep these, these are the coated gloves, keep jersey gloves, keep some extra parts back there. Quick rundown of inside here, this is my full med kit, uh, this has everything I need to treat everything, so you guys know, you guys see it, it's in here. Um, if you want, I have a series on here, I think I even labeled it, Bug Out Vehicle Series, a BOV Series, check it out, it has details on all this kind of stuff. This here is a mobile gun cleaning and maintenance kit. This has everything in it. I'm not, I did a whole video on this. I'm not gonna, I'll just open it quick. I'm not gonna do it. There's everything I need, brushes, it's got rods, sharpening stones, knife maintenance stuff, everything in here that I need to maintain my firearms while on the road. I'll keep another one of these trauma kits in here. This is just a kit of miscellaneous stuff, flashlights, folding saw, all that good stuff. Batteries. Socket set. Emergency fire extinguisher. This is a portable jump starter slash compressor slash uh, power pack slash flashlight. Um, this is not. This is a Harbor, Elf cheapo sixty dollar Harbor Freight one. They tend the good ones are more money. If I ever had to use it one time, then it was worth sixty bucks. Um, I'm not a big Harbor Freight guy, but I figured I'd pick one up just in case. Everybody should have one. You should have a means to jump your vehicle if there's no other vehicles in sight. Pretty important thing to know, thing to have. All right. So these big bins here, we're not going to go crazy into them right now. I did videos on them already, I believe. But quick rundown. This one here, top one here, is all extra blankets, sleeping bags, all that good stuff. This is my my one fuel cooking and heating system, lighting system. It's got my lantern, my my Mr. Heater, propane heater, it's two propane stoves, all that good stuff. All right, guys, I'm moving quick today, so we can get through this. This here, this is all my emergency food. Now I keep a lot of food, but I keep what I need, what I think I need. I calculated what I feel I should need to get to my bug out location and how much I would need in case it takes me a few extra days. I'm not keeping in here an entire food pantry full of food. You gotta keep in mind something too. People, if you're building a bug out vehicle, especially a vehicle this size, which is something that I need because I have a wife, two kids, and I have a whole bunch of dogs and a cat. I gotta be able to transport them. So I need the space and you gotta keep weight down. More, just like in the military when you're carrying weight, pounds equals pain, you gotta have heard that before, okay? Pounds equals pain for your vehicle. You're gonna go low, less distance on less gas than you would if you had a vehicle with less weight. More weight, the less gas you're gonna. The more gas you're gonna use, the more weight you have. Keep that in mind when you're loading your BOV. In here, this is just extra propane tanks. In this tub here, I've gone through this. I say this many times, guys. It's very important. Vehicle maintenance when you're along the road, if you have to buy out, is important. In here, I'm not going to dig through this big tub here, but I got everything, all my fluids. I have every single kind of fluid in here. I got light bulbs for all my bulbs, uh, all my lights. I have extra specialty tools, specialty sockets that I need. I have everything I need, including an oil filter. I have fixed two giant cans of fixer flat. If you're going to be carrying fixer flat, make sure you got enough of it for a vehicle this size with this type of tires. I got extra battery cables, extra jumper cables. I got an upper low radiator hose in there. I got special fuel line removal tools. Everything I need to maintain my vehicle on the road. So, that's what we got in here. I carpeted it in case I have to sleep in here. Now, most likely, I won't have to sleep in my vehicle, but if I had to, I want to make sure I can be somewhat comfortable not sleeping on this hard bed liner because it's not exactly comfortable. All right, so that's pretty much what it's coming down to. That's pretty much everything I got going on. I'm not gonna give you guys the full specs on it. Right? You guys don't need to. Don't, it's not really that important. So that's it. It's a little dirty. Can't help that. Now there are some other things in this vehicle that I cannot show you because I'm in the state of New York and if I did, well, you know, 
I just can't. You guys can read between the lines on that one. So that's it. That's the final video on the BLV for a while. If you guys want to see a more detail, in-depth detail, this is all I'm doing on it for. There's nothing more I want to do to it. I'm not big on having a huge monster truck. I don't need that where I am. In fact, if you live in a state or an area, if you live upstate New York, you can get away with it. They're everywhere. Down south, big trucks are everywhere. If you live where I currently am in Long Island, and you're driving around a big monster truck, shit hits the fan. You're going to be a target because people are going to look at you and say, hey, this guy's standing out. He's probably got guns. He's probably got supplies. Something like this. I got everything I need. And nobody would look twice at it. So, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is, you know, the way I roll. So, that's it for today. That's it for uh, the BOV series for now. If I do any other changes, uh, I'll be sure to post them. But uh, as of right now, you know, that's pretty much it. All right. Really, nothing else really to see in here, guys. Is Batman. And Deadpool. Deadpool says goodbye. All right. That's it, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, hope you like the final, final setup. Check out the rest of the series if you're interested. Somewhere in my playlist, somewhere in the channel, somewhere it says Bug Out Vehicle Series playlist, whatever. So you have to take a look for it. All right, everybody, that's it. Oh, well, one last thing. You got this wedge lock gun racks. These things actually suck. I hate them. I would like to put a roof mount in here, but I'm worried about headroom with everybody. But for now, they'll do in case I got to keep something in the cab when I hit the road. But all right, that's it. All right, everybody, stay safe, stay strong. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.